Hey guys, it's Liz, and today we're gonna to be doing a seven minute outer thigh workout. This is a workout that you have been requesting for a long time, and I finally am filming it for you guys today. This is going to blast those outer thighs and work on the upper leg, as well as the glutes and the booty. So we're gonna be working the whole lower body today. Make sure you do a quick three to five minute warm up, and let's get started. If you like this video or you wanna see more lower body workouts, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment below, let me know what you wanna see next on our workout series. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. Okay, let's get started. Now that you're nice and warm, let's go ahead and take our hands on our hips. We're gonna be doing each exercise for the outer thighs for one minute with 30 seconds of rest in between. So starting with our lateral raise, you're gonna stand up tall, soft bend in your knees, you're gonna take your legs out one at a time, keeping the foot flexed. Again, we're going here for one minute each exercise, which means we'll be on each leg for 30 seconds. You can repeat anywhere from two to three of this whole times of this whole circuit to get a full 20 to 30 minute workout today. Otherwise, we're just gonna be here for seven minutes together. Good, almost done. 30 seconds is almost gone. Good, make sure you're really squeezing into the glutes, soft standing leg, strong rooted down into the ground. Beautiful, that's your size. So keeping the foot flex, find your balance, engage your core, keeping the shoulders back and down, slight bend in the knees, beautiful, and breathe. Good, I'm already feeling it in my outer thighs, and booty, beautiful. 10 more seconds to go. Good, then we're gonna be moving into a dynamic movement and adding in a walking squat. Good, a couple more, strong standing leg, and time. Good, shake your legs out, do a couple little funky chickens. <laughs> We're gonna be moving into a walking squat raise. So what you're gonna do is stay your hips back, weights in your heels. You're gonna step and lift, step and lift. Okay, we're gonna start here in about 15 seconds. So make sure you really shake your legs out. Maybe you wanna do a couple high knees. Hop, hop, hop. Getting ready for the next exercise, our walking squat raise. I like to keep my hands here. You can also cross your arms, keeping the elbows lifted. Up to you. We're gonna take that step out and lift. Step out and lift. Good, so we'll be here for one minute. Slight bend in the knees, still keeping the feet flexed. Good. You should really feel this in your outer thighs right away. If you don't, get a little lower. Get a little lower. Pushing the booty out behind you. Good, keeping an eye on time. Gorgeous. And lift. And lift. Get that booty right though. <laughs> Am I right? Good, we got 30 seconds left. You should be breathing. Feel that burn in the outer thighs. Good, remember we're targeting the outer thighs today. But really we're working the whole lower body as a complex area here. Lots of large muscle groups. We got 10 seconds to go. Good, try to minimize rocking. Use your core. Gorgeous. Yes, you got it. One more time each side. Beautiful. Shake your legs out. We got 30 seconds of rest here. Woo, feeling the booty. Okay, we're gonna do moving on to standing squat raise. So we're gonna take that little side shift out of it. Stay where we are. Stay on one leg at a time for 30 seconds each, which means we need your legs to fully recover in this 30 second break. Okay, we got 10 seconds to go. Maybe you wanna pull your knees in, get a little stretch. I can feel my booty burning already. Make sure you check out the foam roller video after this one. All right, so sit your hips back down into your squat. You're gonna shift your weight over to one side, keeping the leg, the leg slightly bent. Again, foot is always flexed. Really focusing on this outer thigh. Good, the abductors. Good, so working the balance here, because you're on one leg, if you need to, to help support your balance, you can hold a chair, you can hold a wall, or you can gently tap your foot down each time, okay? It's a couple options for you. Good, switch to the other side. Find your balance first, keeping the foot flexed, knees slightly bent. Exhale as you lift, inhale as you lower. Good, don't forget to breathe, that's a really crucial piece. You need that oxygen, you know what I mean? All right, you got 15 seconds left. Woo, I'm feeling it already. After this, we're gonna move our way down onto the mat and work it from another angle. Feel what I'm saying. Three, two, and one. Beautiful, shake that up. You got 30 seconds of rest. We're gonna take it down onto the mat for fire hydrants. So you're actually gonna come into hands and knees position here. So you're gonna stack your shoulders over your knuckles. 
and then tuck your back toes here and stack your hips over your feet. So you have 90 degree bends in all of your joints and your eyes are gonna stay on the floor. Back is flat, core is engaged, pulling in and up. From here, keep the back toes tucked. We're gonna take one leg out at a time. Good. And notice my whole torso stays super steady and I keep a 90 degree bend in my knee. Beautiful. So, lifting up and out to the side. Really focusing on squeezing that outer thigh. Woo. Feel that burn, baby burn. If this bugs your knees for any reason, you can double up your mat, use a towel under your knee, just some extra support there. So make sure you're not just dumping onto your hands here. Grip the mat. A couple more on this side. Good, and switch to the other side right away. Okay, so find your balance, find your core. Go, just lift that knee up. Lift it up there. And don't just throw it up, really see if you can control the movement. Good. Don't throw up. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't do that either. But don't throw your leg up. Really motion. Use your muscles, not momentum. Good. We got a couple more seconds here. A few more. Eyes on the floor. Neutral neck. Beautiful. Okay. Have a seat for a second. A little rest. We're going to come down onto our backs for this last exercise. And then again, remember, you can repeat two to three, maybe even four sets of this to get a full outer thigh workout today. So our last move is the bridge clam. You're gonna slowly work your way down onto your back. Bring your heels in close to your hips. Flatten your shoulders onto the mat. And then from here, you can already start right away by lifting your hips, finding your bridge. We're gonna be here, like I said, for one minute. So bridge clams. You're gonna lift your hips up nice and tall, press your palms down into the mat, take your knees out and in. Out and in. Out and in. Your neck is neutral, eyes are on the ceiling. Good. I'm just gonna have a peek so I can keep track of time here. Beautiful. So we're keeping the hips lifted, squeezing out, squeezing in. See if you can really find this outer thigh here. Woo! I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Get off this. This is one of those ones that's like, I'm thankful I'm doing this at, at home. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you're in the gym, I'm, hello. <laughs> hello. You got privacy in the home though, you know? Okay, we're almost there. You got 20 seconds left. Keep breathing, keep your eyes on the prize, squeeze. Again, muscles, not momentum. Really squeeze. Pinch a penny, you know what I mean? I don't even need to explain that one. Pinch a penny, think about it. Between the cheeks. <laughs> you got it, good. Almost there. Three, two, and scene. Slowly lower your hips down, bring both knees into your chest, press your lower back down into the mat. We'll do a quick little stretch here, and then if you want, you can pause the video, Go ahead and replay it, repeat those circuits, and then jump into the stretch. Otherwise, you can go straight into the stretch together. If you want, you can piece these seven minute workouts together to work the whole body. Really up to you what you wanna do here. Cross one leg over your knee, reach up, grab through the hole, lifting your leg up and pulling your knee in toward your chest. Good, you can do a couple ankle circles here if you want. It doesn't feel so good to work those other thighs. Holy cow. Woo. Good, go the other way with that ankle. Just a quick little glute stretch here. There's a lot of glute action. Woo-wee! Okay, now let's set it down. And we'll switch that. So cross the ankle over, reach up through the hole, grab the back of the thigh, and we'll do the other side. Beautiful. 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 Well done today. Good, go ahead and switch ankle directions if you're adding that little circle in. Catching your breath. Take a moment here to appreciate the work you just did. Good, 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 gorgeous. Beautiful. Awesome. From here, go ahead and extend both legs up. Point your toes, grab the backs of your shins. You're gonna gently pull your legs toward your chest. A little hamstring stretch here. And then from here, we're gonna slowly lower one leg down. Reach the opposite arm across your body and grab the outer edge of your, your calf, your ankle, or maybe if you're flexible, you can grab the outer edge of your foot here. You're gonna take this arm on the same side, out and down, on face down, and then gently pull over across, okay? So we're stretching out the IT band and out of the thigh here. Like to keep the foot flex so you can really feel it in those outer knee ligaments. Very small motion. You wanna make sure your hips and your shoulders stay on the mat. Again, neutral neck, eyes on the ceiling. I'm looking at you, but you should be looking at the ceiling. Good, coming back to center using your core. Go ahead and set that one down. We'll switch sides. So raising the opposite leg, flex that foot. Grab the outer edge of the foot, wherever you can reach. 
Okay. If you're really, really tight in your hamstrings, you can take this arm out. If you're really, really tight in the hamstring, you can take a slight bend here in the knee and then pull over, but you will feel it more if you can keep your legs straight and then pulling across the midline. Do a nice inner, or excuse me, outer thigh. Work outer thighs today. You could pair this up with the inner thigh workout and get a whole lower body burn. You know what I'm saying? Good, good, good. Keeping the foot flexed. Put a little stretch, bring back to center, gently set it down, and then roll over to one side. You have completed today's seven minute workout. If you like this seven minute workout series, make sure you subscribe for more and leave a comment down below. Let me know what other seven minute workouts you're gonna be adding to this or maybe how many circuits you did. I wanna hear from you. How did you like it? Are your outer thighs burning? Please leave a let me know, because I love hearing from you guys. Hit those thumbs up button, and I will see you guys next week. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.